Ha! I, what's wrong with me? <laughs> the Lego Batman movie. All right, seriously, change me back. This can't happen the whole time. This review would take a year to do in Lego, so it's not going to, so change me back. Oh, thank God. Ladies, I don't know what that was, but that has never happened to me before. <clears throat> so the Lego Batman movie is ultimately a spin-off from the Lego movie. So now Lego Batman has his own movie cleverly titled the Lego Batman movie. And in the Lego Batman movie, you have Lego Batman who is a real narcissist. This particular Batman's like if Ron Burgundy and Batman had a kid. He thinks he's super awesome. He doesn't care about anyone. The Joker has his plan. He's gonna devastate Gotham. Joker voiced by Zach Galifianakis, which is funny because if you count Mark Hamill's Joker for Mask of the Phantasm, which was a theatrically released film, Zach Galifianakis is the fourth best on-screen Joker. He didn't have to make dead rats and condoms to people. It's it's that simple, just perform. Not that I hated Jared Leto's Joker, but I just found it funny when I walked out of Lego Batman, I was like, oh, well, Leto's Joker is number five. That is a thing for me. So let the Batman references and meta humor begin because now we have Lego Batman movie. See, what this movie is, is a very effective spoof movie. It's a spoof comedy, which is funny because not too long ago in a video, I said something along the lines of the time of good spoof comedies is dead and behind us. There was a time. Now we are no longer in that time because spoof comedies, generally speaking, suck. Now Lego Batman comes out and I'm like, oh, it, uh, you could still do that. Awesome! What this movie has going for it is the property of Batman. I mean, Batman alone, if you look at all the films, has a lot of jokes and a lot of characters you can pull from it. Or if you look at the comic books, it has a lot of jokes and a lot of property you can pull from it. Point is, if they're gonna tap a resource, this is the ideal one to tap a resource and make a spoof out of. Which is funny, because this is an effectively great Batman movie, and it didn't have director problems, or writer problems, or script rewrites, or any of the DC Cinematic Universe shit that we're dealing with right now. It's just they made it, and it's good. The intro to this movie alone had me rolling. I was sitting back in the theater chair, laughing my ass off, going, okay, so that's how this movie's gonna be. Energize me. And that's the thing the movie is, it's very high energy. There's quip after quip after quip after line after line after joke after joke, which is the movie's greatest strength, but also kind of a weakness because it is exhausting. Half an hour into this movie, you're like, this movie hasn't stopped at all. Then an hour into the movie, you realize the movie takes a bit of a dip. It's a shocking dip because the first half hour is so high energy. And then when the movie kind of slows down to the whole family dynamic, you're like, oh, oh okay. We're here. Very sharp turn you just made, but slowing down like that. However, the family dynamic is a strong element in the story as a whole, so it does work. Basically, if you're a fan of Batman, Batman movies, or movies in general, there's enough humor in here to keep you engaged and occupied. I think you're really gonna dig this one. The movie takes necessary jabs at the property and even some self-deprecating humor of recent films. I think there's something special when a studio can be like, yeah, we can make fun of that, it's fine. And the Lego style of stop motion animation, I think is great. Something endearing about it. It's great seeing Everything being constructed with Legos. We saw that in the Lego movie. Now we see it in the Lego Batman movie. It's great. As the case is with Legos, this movie is limited only by imagination and film property. There's that. But keep your eyes and ears peeled in this one. There are visual references as well as some soundtrack references if you're listening to the music. Like when everyone was going nuts for Pokemon Go. I hope you catch them all. The Lego Batman movie was sharp. It was funny. Like really funny. As a movie fan, it hit me where it needed to hit me. I dug it entirely. Drink your Red Bull because when this movie is going, it doesn't stop. It doesn't take a breath. You need to keep up with it. I will say the Lego Batman movie is definitely worth watching and definitely worth buying on Blu-ray or 4K or digital download or whatever the kids are doing these days to watch movies. All right guys, so the Lego Batman movie, have you seen it? What did you think about it? And how does it compare to the Lego movie? Which one's better, Lego movie or Lego Batman movie? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And special thank you to Lord of the Bricks for doing the intro of this video. That was really cool. Totally kicked ass, you did a good job, dude. If you haven't seen videos by Lord of the Bricks, he does have a YouTube channel where he does a lot of Lego videos and Lego Star Wars fun just like that. I'll put the link to his channel below so you can go check it out, support him, support your local YouTube talent. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.